Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sky here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how I do um, my screen pumps in Sony Vegas because some guy wanted to know how I did them so smoothly. Um, he actually commented right here. So, yeah. Uh, this is just a preview of kind of an edit. I sort of scrapped. I scrapped it because it's not that good, but it's what I'm going to use to show you an example for. Um, I don't think it looks choppy or anything. Uh, apparently nobody else does either. Uh, so basically what I do is, actually no, you know what? First I'll show you what they should look like and then I'll do it myself. Uh, you should go to the shot. Uh, okay, if you're using Sunny Vegas, you should definitely use markers to mark your shots. And so you go to the marker, wherever the beat is or wherever you want it to pump, I guess. Um, once you do that, you want to, uh, actually, I'm just gonna do this and delete all of that and reset all on velocity. Okay. So basically what you do is say I want it to pump right here. Okay. Yeah, that is a thing. So I basically zoom in a little bit on the timeline position thing and actually reset. Um, why is that? Okay, I'm sorry. And so you zoom in a little bit, not too much. You don't want it to be, oh, that's on. You, you zoom in a little bit just around that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you set that keyframe to fast by right clicking and selecting fast. Go back about five frames. Right click on the thing, set restore, and select this one as slow. And then I just go up to the next keyframe I want it to pump on, and I go back one, two, three, four, five frames, restore, set that to slow. And uh, then I copy, actually, yeah, I copy this keyframe over here. I go back to the frame I want it to pump on, do that. And basically just, you keep on repeating that. One, two, three, four, five, restore, set to slow, and paste, so. Anyways, yeah, there you go, so, uh, bye.